When we are not on tour, our program is slightly different in the sense that most of the players stay away from the Stellenbosch Academy of Sport, however few of them do live here. So our first point of contact is quite often at the strapping. The, the strapping requirements for each player may vary. Uh, certain players may prefer certain techniques or certain types of taping. <laughs> At strapping, it's usually a good time for me to gauge in what state of mind the players are, but also to find out if there's any needles that may have popped up over the last 24 hours or since we last seen them. Um, it is also an opportunity for players to voice or to make known any illnesses that may have occurred throughout the night. Uh, uh, welcome back for Sia to his first field session in a long time. How long was that, that's here? Three months? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. How long was that, Paulie? Three years? <laughs> so just to focus a little bit on the attack, it's almost more saying yes, well done on doing stuff than really saying we could have done this better. So I just took out a few clips so we can just go through it. On set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ounce at oefen. Happy days. Alright. Let's go out. Hmm. We try to implement what, what's been discussed in, in the training, in the meetings. Um, then we'll come back and obviously like sevens we try and train and have multiple sessions within a day. So um, for us we need to come back and have a top up meal which will consist of uh, muffins, pancakes, uh, smoothies, that type of thing, just to rep replenish the guys' energy stores. So that's vitally important for the guys to maintain their energy levels and, and, and maintain their weight and their performance throughout the day. Um, so when there's multiple sessions throughout a day, we have to get the guys what we call little top-up meals or recovery meals so that they're able to perform at their best throughout the whole day. Obviously during our training we need to, we need to try and mimic what, what we do in a tournament. Um, obviously within a tournament, most the majority of the tournaments we have uh, three games in a day um, with about two and a half to three hours recovery between games. So we try and mimic that with, within a training day. Um, it's important for us to adapt to what we need to do on the circuit. So we've got to put the, bodies, uh, put the players' bodies at, at stresses like they, they're receiving on the circuit. So we will do, when we're at full training, sometimes two to three training sessions a day on the field as well as a gym uh, strength session. Um, so if we're not placing their bodies under the stress that they receive on the circuit, then they're not going to be able to adapt and perform it at that level. Yeah, I mean, SAS is a phenomenal environment for us to be as, as, as a team. I mean, a lot of the guys live, live on the campus, a lot of the guys live very close in the vicinity. So for us to be able to train within, you know, 100, 200 meter radius with the fields, the gym, the pool for recovery, the ice bars, everything in one facility is an absolutely great advantage, or huge advantage for us for, for our preparation. So we don't have to go any traveling or anything like that. So basically, I mean, it's a one-stop shop here at SAS. We, we, we come in the morning, we get our recovery done, we get our, our preparation done, then we train and, and recover afterwards, and you know, we're back the next day for, for, for our training. All our meals and that, everything's uh, uh, recovered or covered at, at, at SAS, so I mean, it's incredible. 